Welcome learners, I am Dr. Pallavi Kaul and today we will know about National Policy of Education 1968. We will specially discuss the concerns mentioned about elementary education in National Policy of Education of 1968. We have already discussed the recommendations of the Kothari Education Commission previously. The National Policy of Education 1968 is based on these recommendations of the Commission, Kothari Education Commission 1964-66. The Commission recommended that the Government of India should issue a statement on the National Policy on Education which should provide a kind of guidance to the state government and the local authorities in preparing and implementing the educational plans. In 1967, the Government of India constituted a committee of members of Parliament on Education to prepare the draft of a statement on the National Policy of Education. In this committee, uh, this committee brought together the leading members of almost all the political parties in the country and prepared a draft which was considered by the Central Advisory Board of Education. A general consensus on the national policy on education emerged in the course of the board's deliberation. This lecture will help you to understand the resolution adopted in the National Policy of Education 1968. Declaration of the Government about the Policy In its policy declaration, the Government of India stated that the government is convinced that a radical reconstruction of education on the broad lines recommended by the Education Commission is essential for economic and the cultural development of the country and even for the national integration and for realizing the ideal of a socialistic pattern of society. This will involve a transformation of the system to relate it to more closely to the life of the people, effort to expand educational opportunities, effort to raise the quality of education at all stages emphasized on the development of science, technology and cultivation of moral and social values. The educational system must produce young men and women of character and ability committed to national service and development. Only then education will be able to play its vital and important role in promoting national progress, creating a sense of common citizenship and cultural of strengthening the national integration. Only then education will be able to, it, to play its vital role in promoting national progress. With this intention, the National Policy of Education 1968 was formed on the basis of the recommendation given by Kothari Education Commission of 1964-1966. Let us now know the resolution adopted on the National Policy of Education. Now we are familiar with the background. Let us discuss the resolutions that have been included in the National Policy of Education 1968. These resolutions can be considered as the follow program of the recommendation given by the Kothari Education Commission. The first resolution was about free and compulsory education. Sterner's effort should be made for the early fulfillment of the directive principles under Article 45 of the Constitution seeking to provide free and compulsory education for all the children up to the age of 14 years. Now, this 
resolution is to promote free and compulsory education or in other words universalization of the elementary education suitable programs should be developed to reduce the prevailing wastage and stagnation in the schools and to ensure that every child who is enrolled in the school successfully complete the prescribed course status emoluments and education of teachers of all the factors which determine the quality of education and its contribution to the national development the teacher is undoubtedly the most important teacher be accorded an honored place in the society the emoluments and other service condition should be adequate and satisfactory having regard to their qualification and responsibilities the academic freedom of teachers to pursue and publish independent studies and researches and to speak and write about significant national and international issues should be protected npe observed that the teacher education particularly in service education should receive due emphasis next was about development of languages regional languages npe emphasized the energetic development of indian languages and literature uh, is a sign qua non for educational and cultural development unless this is done the creative energies of the people will not be released the standard of education will not improve knowledge will not spread to the people and there will be a gulf between the intelligentsia and the masses and they will remain static if not widened further the use of regional languages should not be only at the primary and secondary stage but urgent steps should be taken to adopt them as a media of education at even the university level three language formula at the secondary stage the state government should adopt and vigorously implement the three language formula which includes the study of modern indian language preferably one of the southern languages along with some regional languages hindi and english hindi every effort should be made to promote the development of hindi as the link language due care should be taken to ensure that it will serve as provided for in the article 351 of the constitution as a medium of expression for all the elements of the composite culture of india sanskrit considering the special importance of sanskrit to the growth and development of the indian languages and its unique contribution to the cultural unity of the country facilities for its teaching at the school and university st stages should be offered on a more liberal scale international languages special emphasis needs to be laid on the study of english and other international languages the equalization of educational opportunities the national policy of education express greater concern that sterner's effort should be made to equalize the educational opportunities regional imbalance in the provision of educational facilities should be corrected and good educational facilities should be provided in rural and other backward areas to promote social cohesion and national integration in the common school system as recommended by the education commission it should be adopted efforts should be made to improve the standard of education in the general schools all special schools like public schools should be required to submit students on the basis of merit and also to provide free studentship 
scholarship to prevent segregation of social classes. The education of girls should receive emphasis not only on the grounds of social justice, but it is also because it accelerates social transformation. More intensive efforts are needed to develop education among the backward classes and especially among the tribal people. Educational facilities for the physically and mentally handicapped children should be expanded and attempts should be made to develop integral programs which help and enable the handicapped children to study in the regular schools. In fact, NPE also promoted inclusive education at that point of time. Identification of talent For the cultivation of excellence, it is necessary that talent in the diverse field should be identified at as early as possible and every stimulus and opportunities should be given for its full development work experience and national service. The school and the community should be brought closer through suitable programs of mutual service and support. Work experience and national service including participation in the meaningful and challenging programs of community service. And national reconstruction should accordingly become an integral part of the education. Emphasis in these programs should be on self-help character formation and on developing a sense of social commitment. Science education and research. With a view of accelerating the growth of the national economy, science education and research should receive high priority. Science and mathematics should be an integral part of the general education system till the end of the school stage. Production of the books. The quality of the books should be improved by attracting the best writing talent. Immediate steps should be taken for the production of high quality textbooks for schools and even for the universities. Frequent changes of textbooks should be avoided and their prices should also be low enough for all to buy them. Keeping this in mind, the, uh, the NCERT has also taken the initiative of publishing books which are of high quality but of low cost. The possibility of establishing autonomous books corporations on commercial lands should be examined and efforts should be made to have a few basic textbooks common throughout the country. Special attention should be given to books for the children as NPE recommends it greatly affects their mind at the early stage. Examination A major goal of examination reforms should be to improve the reliability and the validity of the examination and to make evaluation a continuous process. It should aim at helping the student to improve his level of achievement rather than at certifying the quality of his performance at a given moment of time. Therefore, at that point of in 1968 itself, NPE has in one way talked about continuous and comprehensive evaluation. Games and sports. A lot of emphasis was given by NPE on games and sports. It should be developed on a larger scale with the objective of improving the physical fitness and sportsmanship of the average student as well as of those who excel in this department. Education of the minorities. Every effort should be made not only to protect the rights of the minorities but to promote their educational interests as suggested in the statement issued by the Conference of the Chief Minister of States and Central Ministers held on August 1961. The educational structure. 
It will be advantageous to have a broadly uniform educational structure in all parts of the country was the suggestion given by NPE. The ultimate objective should be to adopt the 10 plus 2 plus 3 pattern, the higher secondary stage of 2 years being located in schools, colleges or both according to the local condition. With this, we come to the end of the lecture. In this unit, we have covered the following points. The Government of India issued the resolution on national policy on education in 1968 with the following objective of free and compulsory education. Status, emoluments and education of teachers were also discussed in this lecture. Development of languages, Hindi language, regional language and international language. Equalization of educational opportunities for bringing uh, all the social classes together, identification of talent and the promoting of talent was also an important recommendation given by National Policy of Education. Work experience and national service should be brought together as per the recommendation and guidance given by NPE 1968. Science education and research should be promoted in the country. The production of low cost books of high quality was also one of the guidance given by the National Policy of Education 1968 and the examination where the examination should be not to just certify that the uh, knowledge has been gained, but to ensure that the knowledge has been gained was given by NPE and spread of literacy and adult education. Lot of stress on games and sport was also given by 1968 national education policy. Education of minorities was one of the basic recommendation given by NPE. So, with this we come to the end of this session. See you in the next session. Thank you.